I'm gonna run the Wi-Fi 7 speed test on the latest flagship phones. Have the iPhone 17 Pro Max that literally just came out. Have the Pixel 10 Pro XL. Have the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. And have the OnePlus 13. So we're gonna start off with the local speed test. Then we're gonna to go to an internet speed test. I'm gonna show you guys how fast each phone is. And I'm also gonna show you guys that there's no sorcery going on in the background. They're all connected to the same SSID, which is Earth 6G, Earth 6G, Earth 6G, and Earth 6G. And for the local speed test, they're all going to the same IP address and port, which is 192.168.68.50, port 3000, same, same, same. And let me just show you guys that, click on this. Everything's the same. Um, the reason, let me kick off this test and the reason why the iPhone says SOS is because I just got it today and I haven't set up the eSIM. Has nothing to do with the speed test because this is a local speed test going to my server. All on Wi-Fi has nothing to do with connecting to the cellular network as most of you guys already know. Okay, so there is an improvement over the 17, over the 16 Pro Max with the new 17 Pro Max, but it's not a huge improvement. Now, Apple did use their new, I believe, their N1 chip. Um, this is the first time they're using their own chip, the Wi-Fi chip. And I was hoping it had the 320 megahertz channel support. I read some places that it did, and then I read some other places that it didn't. So I actually have no idea. But based on these speed tests, it doesn't look like it has it, or it's not enabled. Now, I will be, I will have this phone um, until the next iPhone comes out. So if that changes, I'll let you guys know. Okay, I'm gonna move this mouse so the computer doesn't go to sleep. And um, so Pixel and iPhone around the same speeds, roughly. Samsung is a little bit different. It usually starts off slow and then it kind of speeds up. It's, it's almost like it's always in battery saver mode. And then once it sees that, oh, you're running a test, then it starts to speed up. And usually it goes a lot faster, but I don't know why it's running so slow right now. And I mean, okay, let me take that back. It's not, this is not slow. It's just compared to what the Samsung normally does, it is slow. Um, it can go faster. See, as you guys can see on the upload. So typically this thing is in the threes. I don't know why. Maybe the placement of this thing doesn't like that. Um, Cause normally it does go faster. In fact, I'll see if I can rerun it again just to see if there makes a difference. But the OnePlus is almost always consistently fast. I mean, Look at those speeds. This thing, this thing is an absolute beast. So I've had both of these. I've had all the phones since they came out, but I've had these two for longer. And sometimes the Samsung actually does beat the OnePlus. That's why I like to use both of these during my router speed test. But the OnePlus is almost always consistently fast, where the Samsung sometimes is really, really fast. Sometimes it's not. So let me just, let me do, let me refresh this and let me show you guys what I mean by this. So as soon as it speeds up, if I, okay, it looks like it's gonna go faster now, but if I were to refresh this and click start, it actually starts at a faster rate. So it's doing a little bit better now, but still not, not as, not as good as I've seen it do. And then obviously if I do this, it's not really a fair test if I'm holding this thing up while the other ones are not being held up. But it it can it can go faster. I've seen this go faster basically. I'm not sure why it's going so slow. Even in the other video, I think this thing did actually go faster. Okay, so, but OnePlus, clearly the king. Um, and then for internet speed tests, I'll have them all connect to Frontier. So we'll kick it off just to see how, uh, just so it's an apples to apples comparison or an apples to Android comparison. Uh, I had to throw in a dad joke in there. Okay, so again, these are very fast speeds, um, but compared to what Wi-Fi 7 can do, it's not as fast as it can be. And, and that's my, that's the whole point of this video. That's what I'm trying to show. So connect it to Frontier for this one. And then I'll do the same for the Samsung. The Samsung's, again, it's gonna start off slow. So, but are you guys surprised that the OnePlus is 
essentially the fastest one. I'm genuinely curious. Do you guys have the OnePlus? Do you have the iPhone? What were you expecting the iPhone to be? Um, do you have the Samsung? Which phone do you guys like? And I should also mention that this test alone, this is just a Wi-Fi speed test. This doesn't mean that the OnePlus is the best phone. Because um, these three phones, the iPhone, Pixel, and, and Galaxy, they do have better cameras. Um, I like the, the fact that the Samsung has a, a stylus built in. So there's some advantages with some of these phones versus with some of the other ones. And see, like it's speeding up, but it's like, oh, I'm done with the speed test. Like I know this thing can go faster. Okay. Okay, Frontier, let's go. One plus, just consistently fast. Consist consistently fast. There it is, guys. Um, first place, second place. Third, fourth place, kind of like a tie, depending on what, you know, I'm looking at it from a bigger picture um, point of view, essentially. Um, but I'm surprised that the upload didn't do well on the Samsung versus the other one. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, smash that subscribe button. If you guys like videos like this, I, I'm hoping that the Samsung S26 Ultra doesn't have this issue. So I will get that if you guys have interest in that. When that comes out, typically that comes out January, February. I can get that one, run a speed test if you guys like these videos. If you guys want me to do a cellular modem test, let me know if there's enough interest in that, I can do that as well. The only thing is I can't do them side by side because I only have three lines and only two of the lines are on T-Mobile. So I'd, I wanna run them, I'll basically run them all on T-Mobile, but I, I have to basically disable an eSIM to enable another eSIM. So it's it's most likely just gonna kind of be one phone. I'll do a speed test on it on T-Mobile and then remove that eSIM, put it on the other phone. And basically, unlike the Wi-Fi where all of these can connect to the Deco B95. Anyways, product links below. And um, subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.